We already saw what asynchronous and parallel programming are. It is important to understand what type of operations both are intended to try to improve. In the case of asynchronous programming, we saw that its specialty is a handling of I.O. bound operations, where I.O. bound operations are characterized by communication with external systems. Some examples of I.O. bound operations are call to a web service, interaction with a database, interaction with a file system. Therefore, when we need to perform some of the above operations, we can consider the use of asynchronous programming to increase the level of scalability of our systems. Since when we make a call to an external entity, we have to wait for a response. And while waiting, it is productive to free the thread that started the operation so that it can proceed to perform other tasks. On the other hand, CPU bound operations are those that are performed primarily using processor power. Here, there are usually no dependencies with external systems, but everything depends on our system. If we have multiple CPU operations that are independent, we may want to use parallel programming to decrease the time it takes to perform these operations. Some examples of CPU operations are find the inverse of a matrix, sort an array of elements, train a machine learning model. It is important to understand the difference between I.O. and CPU bound operations to see what you can consider using, parallel or asynchronous programming. If your operation requires communication with some system external to your program, then it is I.O. bound and therefore we can consider asynchronous programming. If the operation is done entirely within your program and its execution time depends on the processor, then it is a CPU bound operation and therefore we can consider using parallel programming.